The Tory party tried for years and years to get flights to take off to Rwanda with no success. It went through pretty much every single court who all told us that we're horrible, inhumane people for thinking of sending people off to Rwanda. And we had other people in other countries and leaders of different parties telling us that we are horrible and inhumane for thinking of sending people to a third country. But then as soon as us Brits gave up on the idea, Keir Starmer came in, just scrapped up the whole policy at the day that he walked through the door. Everybody else wants to go. We've had the EU, yes, the EU, the ones who, you know, with their ECHR, I know it's not the EU and the ECHR are different, but it's all it's all the same bureaucrats. Um, they said that our flights to Rwanda couldn't take off. They thought that we were the bad guys. Now they're saying that they are considering either sending people to Rwanda or a similar country. I, they basically want to copy our ideas. But now Trump wants to go as well. Trump has realised this is not an inhumane policy and maybe it's actually a good idea. And the thing is, I mean, I, with Rwanda, I was very, very sceptical about Rwanda and I thought it was going to be a complete waste of money, but it actually did start to work as a deterrent. You had migrants saying that they didn't want to cross the channel because they were scared of being sent off to Rwanda. So it was actually starting to work, even though we didn't have uh, flights taking off, despite Rishi Sunak promising, well, making a bet with Piers Morgan for a grand that he would have a flight take off to Rwanda before uh, the end, uh, well, before the general election. Didn't really happen, did it? Um, But um, yeah, so now Donald Trump wants to have a go at this, uh, GB News has reported. So we've got the incoming Trump administration has considered replicating the Tories' plan to send migrants off to Rwanda. The scheme was originally introduced under the Tories, but then, of course, was scrapped as soon as Keir Starmer came in. And then we've got a source close to the Trump team told The Sun Trump campaigned on a promise to crack down on illegal immigration and he is determined to stick to it. But listen to this, ladies and gents. This is what that source also said. His team is looking at the Rwanda scheme. He is considering deporting illegal migrants to Rwanda and other countries so they cannot stay on American soil. Can you imagine if us Brits spent years and years and years battling with the courts trying to get a flight to take off to Rwanda with no avail? We spent so much money and wasted so much government time on this. And then Trump, he'll manage to just walk in and he'll manage to do it at a snap of the fingers. I'm sure that he will get it across the line far easier than us. Um, Well, clearly we failed. Um, in Britain. It would be really interesting to see if this actually works as a deterrent um, along the southern border in the US if he brings it in. And I think if we start seeing the US and other countries in the EU copying us on Rwanda, I think that Rishi Sunak is going to be very, very... Rishi Sunak, Suela Bravman, a lot of them, they are going to be so angry and frustrated that when they tried to do this, everyone called them awful, inhumane, racist every word in the book and then everyone else will do it and everyone else will just say it's fine i would be very very angry if i were rishi sunak or soella bravman given how much effort they put into trying to make this happen now let's just remind ourselves how much of a nightmare rwanda was i mean this all started back in 2022 we're nearly at the end of 2024 and we're still talking about rwanda guys in 2022 april 2022 is when boris decided to announce that we're going to start shipping people off to Rwanda. Then, in that same year, we had the first flight on the tarmac, ready to go. People boarded, people ready to rock and roll off to Rwanda. And literally just minutes before takeoff, the ECHR stopped it and said that flight cannot take off. And then this went on and on and it went through the courts. 2022, we then had the High Court rule that it was actually fine and it was lawful even though the ECHR had tried to stop the flight from um, taking off previously. We then found at the end of the year that we'd had over 45,000 people break into the country that year which is when I think people started really ringing the alarm bell saying we need to do something about this. Then in 2023 we have in June Rwanda deal ruled unlawful by the Court of Appeal saying it's not a safe country. And then in November, we have the Supreme Court ruling that it is 
unlawful as well. And then they all ran round like headless chickens saying they'll, you know, change the wording of the policy, pass this bill, pass that bill, we'll get the flights off to Rwanda before the general election, don't worry. And then, surprise, surprise, Rishi Sunak called an early general election. I wonder why, because he wanted to push this narrative that Rwanda is about to happen, so we better do the election now so you guys can make sure I stay in office to make sure the flights take off to Rwanda. You thought anyone was going to buy that? Everybody knew that you called the election because you knew the flights to Rwanda were not going to take off and you didn't want to leave the election long enough for people to realise that your policy was going absolutely nowhere and it was a shambles. So let's see, ladies and gentlemen, if our good friend Donald Trump over in the US can do a better job of this and not drag it out for years and years through the court. And maybe it will stop some people breaking into the US through the southern border. Time will tell. I would not be surprised if all the EU countries start copying it as well because there has been a lot of talk of that. I'll tell you that for one thing, ladies and gents. I'm Chloe Dobbs. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you press the notification bell below so you don't miss out on any of our good videos. I'll see you in the next one.